All right, a little bit of a side story to Battleground Toronto, folks. And you know, uh, since the battle for Toronto kicked off a few months ago, we've been bringing you all the uh, <clears throat> juiciest news from the campaign trail, but certainly not as juicy as this. You might even say the candidates are getting grilled, sort of. I'm sure you'll relish the scoop that our man on Toronto beat David Menzies has cooked up. All right, enough puns. I'm just going to go right to Menzies. <laughs> enough puns. Time for some buns, Mr. Uh, Mr. Menzies. All right, so you went to the Lakeview restaurant. It's got this mayoral burger pole. This happens in a lot of places. I love these things. Tell us about what the Lakeview's got up its sleeve. Well, it has the three main candidates, David, and each burger is different. You got the Olivia Chow burger. That comes with roasted orange peppers to represent the NDP. Uh, Monterey mm. Jack cheese. That's in commemoration of Olivia's late husband, uh, Jack Layton. And uh, a side order of Chow Chow relish. I don't know what that is. Um, then there's the Tory burger that comes with blueberry barbecue mayo, blue cheese and blue corn chips. And that's to represent the Conservative Party. It also comes with fried red onions, David. Um, that quote symbolizes what the Conservatives do to the Liberals, fry them. Um, not in Ontario of late, I'll tell you. And finally, the Doug Ford burger. Um, they nicknamed this uh, cardiac arrest on a bun. Uh, three types of meat, uh, bacon, chicken, and beef, slathered in uh, melted cheddar. And of course, it comes with a side of gravy that represents the very bane of the Ford's existence, the gravy train. Oh, my gosh. All three of those sound delicious. I could eat one any day of the week, so long as I had a nice cold beer beside me. All right. Uh, no doubt, David, uh, you had to go experience all of this firsthand uh, and tell us... Uh, you know, why they're doing this and, and, and how exactly it all works. Well, you know, David, I, I spoke to the uh, owner of the Lakeview restaurant, uh, Fadi Hakim, and the general manager, John Vatier. And basically, it comes down to uh, putting a fun spin on crazy town politics. It's a matter of preference. We're just having a little fun with these burgers. I think it's awesome. It also gives the public a chance to come out and just try something without the formality of a vote. Okay, and essentially, it's a lot like life in the sense that there are certain candidates that you do like certain things about, but you kind of have to vote for the one that you feel is right overall. And so <laughs> are they keeping, they have the big board up at the restaurant saying who's winning or are they going to have some sort of a tally? Well, it, it just uh, kicked off, uh, David, and there will be a final tally. The final results come in, I think it's October 20th. And believe it or not, as um, Mr. Hakim explains, there is some actual science that has gone into this fast food burger poll. We've got a company called Higgins.ai that's actually doing the analytics. So they send us exactly what was sold, uh, what was sold every day, exactly what the portion sizes of everything in. So we're able to chart barbecue sauce, uh, bacon, everything like that. So all those results will be posted every Friday, and uh, LakeviewRestaurant.ca. All right, now, I, 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 David, I, we saw you in the teaser before you came on chowing into some of those burgers, and you'll pardon the pun there again. Uh, which one did you try? Did you try all three? Did you do a little taste testing? And can you recommend any without actually tipping your political hand? Well, just like the real election, uh, David, it comes down to John Tory with that beautiful blue cheese and, of course, all that meat on the uh, Doug Ford burger, which is kind of ironic because Doug Ford is actually a vegetarian. It began as the Rob Ford burger, but, wow, in addition, <laughs> to the being a long winter, I might have to go to the uh, big and tall ma uh, man shop for uh, a new suit. Yeah, no, it sounds good. <laughs> all right, David Menzies, on the, 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 the hardest, toughest <clears throat> investigative story, we've sent him on all week long. <laughs> Thank you, my friend, and uh, appreciate that. A good, good piece. Thank you so much, David. Anytime. All right.